I'm Nina Sperano in downtown Appleton. Women now account for more than half of the college educated labor force in the US, according to Pew Research. And as we celebrate Women's History Month, we're also celebrating another industry where women are taking over the majority, the Chamber of Commerce leadership. As the Fox Cities Chamber of Commerce celebrates 150 years, we're taking a look back at how its leadership has evolved to be in a woman's hands. I truly believe that chamber work is really mission work. 150 years ago, 21 men came together to form the Appleton Chamber of Commerce. This organization has survived the Great Depression, World Wars. So from everything from the 441 construction to moving ATW to Greenville, as well as being involved in the creation of the Expo Center, We've touched a little bit of everything. Appleton, Nina, and Menasha combined in 1976 to form the Fox Cities Chamber of Commerce. Today, Becky Bartosik is president and CEO. It's really where we bring our community together. It's where we create a better you know, place for us all to live. And it's where we advocate a lot of times for somebody that doesn't have a voice, which is the small business community. And I think that that mission really resonates with women. According to the chamber, by 2019, 63% of chambers nationally are run by women, an industry once dominated by men. Jody Federwitz, the director of the Pulse Young Professionals Network, knows the impact women leaders are having on the community. We're starting to really see a lot of our young women take advantage of professional development opportunities. We have CEOs that are women, and we have that on purpose because we want young professionals to see. You could be a CEO. You could be a CFO. You can do whatever you want to and whatever you set out to do. For 150 years, the chamber has watched the Fox Cities evolve and has brought the community together to make the Fox Cities a better place. There's still a place for everybody. That's the whole point of the Chamber of Commerce, to bring your community together. But it, it's exciting to see that there's more opportunities for women to grow in general in this industry. Bartosik says that larger city chambers like Milwaukee, Boston, and Phoenix are still predominantly led by men. But she says every time someone retires, more women are stepping forward to take over those roles. In downtown Appleton, Nina Sperano, NBC 26.